Hi Taurus, welcome to your past life karmic lesson. Now please take note that this is a general reading. It might not, you know, resonate with you or not. I mean, I mean it might resonate with you or not, okay, right? Let's take a look. What are the things that you still have to learn from the past and things that you need to fulfill in the present? Alright. Imprisonment or slavery. You might, you know, you might feel so stuck or you feel so stuck in a situation or there might be a lot of recurring things that you feel like, why is it that I feel like I'm caught in a limbo? Okay. Now, ships. You do have some phobia in uh, riding a cruise or being in a big body of water. Forgiveness. Okay, you were first. You were an old soul and you're born in the uh, around the Middle Eastern. And I feel like right now you're very good in math calculations and numbers. You might be working as an accountant, engineer, architect, or uh geophysicist or something like that people who's actually working in numbers are a financial analyst or an accountant or you're a cpa you know oh all right okay you do have some problems in getting stuck in a particular situation in your life right now because you were imprisoned or enslaved before. Like for example, that you are in a relationship, you tend to submit, okay? You, you tend to give everything and then all of a sudden this person won't even appreciate all the things that you've been giving and doing for them, all right? Now, and I feel like most of the time people always take advantage of you. You know, your generosity, sometimes you have a very good heart, but then people tend to take advantage of that, all right? So either it's financially, emotionally, mentally, physically, okay? And uh, you were afraid of, well, you died in a, you died drowning in your past life. That's why right now, if you have a phobia of being in a big body of water or being out there in the sea or ocean, because sometimes you feel like that is where you're going to be dying. It is because, it, you know, there's a part of you who still remembers the um, your past life, okay? Like how you died in your past life. That is, you still remember that there's still a part of you. And you also need to learn how to forgive. You tend to carry grudges uh, right within you and it's been weighing you down. All right, you're a very smart person, yet you feel like you cannot let go of the pain or grudge that you've been keeping right within you, especially if you have some family issues or if you have some issues with your father, you know, that your father did not really take care of you and they, you know, your father have particularly abandoned you when you were little or when you were, you know, or when you were a child. I mean, I'm not saying this to all of the Taurians out there, but to some, okay? You're also very good in math and numbers, calculations, uh, approximations as well. So the best job for you should be in the number of field. Uh, sorry, it should be the field of numbers, okay? Um, yeah, like what I've mentioned, financial analyst, accountant, uh, engineer, architect, uh scientists as well you know they do they also do numbers and stuff like that and you were abandoned when you were you know in your past life it was more of an unrequited love so right now if you are caught up in a relationship that as i've mentioned that you tend to be unappreciated in a situation whether it's in a family or in a relationship in a friendship at, at you know or in your work environment you feel like life has always been so unfair to you like you've you've done everything you've been doing everything that you could and that you feel like can take you or that can earn your leverage it's like it's always like that okay so and you're also very walled up okay 
you also you also lived as a knight in your past life so most of the time knight um if you're if you were a knight in your in your past life you're very um it's like you're always wearing your shield up against your body and you're always ready to pull out your sword and cut those people off who's ready to attack you or you feel like they are going to be attacking you and right now this is what you're doing in your present life okay this is what exactly you tend to think about other people that you always wear your shield up against your body and that you're ready to cut off those people who's ready to block your way or go against your way or go against you but the thing here is sometimes you're only being so defensive that's why you always end up being alone or isolated and you always suffer for an, for an unrequited love you love too much you care too much you think too much and everything else but other people they feel like nah you know like uh there's still more room for that love for you to give to other people but i'm not really the right person or i'm not really the right fit you know that's why there's you know it's like most of the time you feel so alone and even if you have friends you feel like nobody can even give you that satisfaction of company you were an orphan in your past life and uh you don't even know where you came from you don't even know if you have a family there's like a voided space right inside of you that you feel like where do i really belong where is that place for me where is that people for me or family for me or friends for me it's like you're a very smart person you're you know you tend to be successful on your own you're actually very guided and blessed and you have a very good intuition but it's like you don't even know where is that calling or where is that space or where is that hole that you could you know fit in that's why most of the time you feel so alone and you tend to push people out of your life because you're so afraid to care so much you're so afraid to love too much because if you do you might not be able to let go and cut them off there, that you're even afraid of your own codependence. You were also born as a male and female, so for some reasons you feel like you're also bisexual. You, know, you sometimes you feel like you're into women. Sometimes you feel like you're into men, and vice versa. And you always have some. You always, well, not really always, but you do have some. Sometimes always issues about legal stuff, government, you know, banking stuff, or you might also be working in that field government banking and stuff like that are legal okay and you have talent in the legal field as well or memorizing the law now you want to have a very let's say simple life not minimal but simple life okay and you used to be a farm girl or a farm boy in your in your past life and you've had two children Yet whatever it is that's been going on in your life right now, it is written in the stars. And there, there are some people that will be coming across to you, which is it will remind you of your, you know, of your past life. And you've made a promise to somebody that you need to fulfill. And your angels will be guiding you to that person. You know, I'm not really sure if all of you have already experienced the deja vu, but I have experience that with someone when i was still working before in a hotel and uh you know and um when somebody from the media actually set up a meeting with me and then when i went to the lobby it did not really took me you know it, it i did not find any difficulties recognizing that person because when i came across to that woman it's like you know the the world stood still and it's like she, she's the only one that i can see in that place or in that room okay and i felt like she was my mother or something more likely a family member you know it's like it reminded me of somebody that's very close to me or somebody who used to care for me and it was more of a like a 30 second uh time lapse okay uh, and we talk for hours three hours you know so it's it's that instant connection that you made with somebody but i never saw her again although you know from time to time she visits uh, our establishment but uh 
we both have busy schedules before then. But then right now, that is what I'm trying to say, that when you experience the deja vu, or when you finally see somebody from your past, it's like the time will, st it's like the time will stop, the whole world will stop. And it's like that is the only person, even if you're right in the middle of the crowd, okay? You will... It's like you will feel so weird that that is the only person that you could see, that you could hear, and that's the only thing or, you know, or person that would ever matter to you, even if it's only for 10, 20, or 30 seconds. So that is the deja vu. Okay, so let's take a look what is that promise that you have made to somebody. Because you're the kind of person who is so afraid to commit, who is so afraid to get entangled, and who is so afraid to um, get caught up or get tied up. All right. It takes you a lot of time for you to commit to somebody. That even though you always wanted to love, you always want to experience love and relationship. You know, it's uh, it takes some time for you to take somebody seriously. Because you're so afraid of that word. And you're so afraid of that big thing like commitment or relationship. Okay? So, see? Like what I said, the playfulness. Some Tereans, um they settle down at a very later stage in their life because it takes some time for them to trust, to give their all, to give their heart, to give themselves and to give their heart to somebody. And when they trust, they expect too much or they expect longevity from that person. But unfortunately, most of the time, they're the one who's screwing it around. Okay, because they are so afraid of getting hurt, but unconsciously, that is what they do to other people. Now, playfulness, give your relationship a chance, chemistry, honeymoon, codependency, past life, new love, stay optimistic. This could be the one in wedding. There is somebody in your life right now that you're not really taking seriously. And for you, this is like a funny person. Okay, for you, this person is just like a... Uh, could be you're treating this person as a booty call or something like that or somebody that you can just call whenever you're bored and whenever you call this person this person just picks up the phone and run towards you right away but little did you know that this person that you're playing around or this person that could be that right now you're unconsciously not aware of your feelings, but you do have feelings or love for this person, but you're so afraid to commit and you're still pretending to yourself that you're not in love with this person. Are you showing to everyone that no, there's no way that I'm going to be, you know, that I'm going to be falling in love with this person. Ah, for me, it's, you know, the person is just a toy or, or just my runaround call, whatever it is. And you need to give this person a chance to be in your life. You do have very good chemistry and you, you, you're you very well aware of that. But you're just denying it to yourself or you're just refusing the connection. Okay? And I feel like you are going to be thriving or you're going to be uh, residing in another place, another city or another country. And this is what you're so afraid of. The codependency. Okay? This is what you're so afraid of. The codependency. Now, you do have a past life relationship, and th there is a promise that you need to fulfill from this person. This is a new love. This is not somebody from the past, but I feel like this person is already existing in your life right now. We can take a look at the sign of this person for you to be sure and for you to check it out, okay? But not because that there is already an existing sign or person in your life. You're going to, like assume that that's the one but there are still some more signs that you still have to look all right now this is a new relationship or new love stay positive because you're very skeptical and you're very it's like you're you know it's like uh because you're so defensive so you tend to negate all those things that should come and about to come into your life but this is already the one. The one that you're playing around. 
with their feelings or the one that you're just you know that you keep on tossing and turning and i feel like if you have already met this person in the past this is somebody that you have hurt it so bad that you have ditched or you know just discarded all of a sudden just because that you feel like you, you know there's more to life to see that you still want to experience freedom in life that you're not yet ready to be committed so i feel like this is earth water and air okay and the bottom line of this is that there is a wedding okay it's going to take up to the next level i don't feel like this is somebody that you're already with right now for some Taurians, okay but some Taurians might have already find the right one for them but some Taurians, i feel like uh, this is somebody that you keep on playing around and you you're keeping their hopes up okay so let's take a look what is the lesson that you need to learn from this i'm not gonna be pulling out your life path or life purpose because i feel like you already know what it is that you want in your life okay the depression will be blurring your judgment and your you know, uh, you, might get, you might get caught up in a sudden illusion or depression because of your own heartbreak. But I feel like you pretty much know where uh, do you really want to be in life. Okay. And as I've said, that you should be working in the field of numbers. Okay. Like uh, accountant, CPA or something like that. Or uh, auditor. Oh, there are, you know. Being an accountant is, a, is actually a very in-demand work or in-demand uh, profession. You need to learn how to care. You need to learn how to mother somebody. You need to learn how to take care of somebody without anything in return. You need to learn how to be unconditional. Because, you know, you're very capable of that. It's just that you're denying it to yourself. All right? You are the one who is who's denying yourself a chance to be happy and to be with the one who's rightfully meant for you yet you keep on aiming at those because at this point you know some Tereans, they needed some guidance okay if there is there are very strong and very headstrong as well smart you know uh, people but they need somebody to guide them and they're very 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 stubborn you know you, when you approach a bull they have to charge on you but you know how to ha you should know how to handle them so that they will you know follow you instead of charging against you so at this point i feel like this person who's going to be traveling from afar i feel like this person is from another place younger than you and as i've said air sign air earth or water sign okay and I feel like this person will be coming from a long, long way or from another city, another country. And I feel like you do speak different languages. And this is someone younger than you, well-traveled, also very well-reserved, highly educated. I feel like this person is, you know, studied a very good, uh, you know, education in the past. And this person is also a little bit walled up, but not as much as you, okay? And very independent. This person doesn't want to stay around or much around their families because they believe that they cannot explore their potential if they are going to be staying with their families or relatives. It kind of suppresses their potential to be who they really are and who they are supposed to be. Because with the, so much care, although I'm not saying that, you know, he defies his, she, okay, he or she, you know, this person defies their own family, but uh, they want to discover their own potential on their own. So very independent, okay? And this person is also acting like a warrior, even though I'm not saying that this person will hurt you or very violent or has a very fierce temper. No. In fact, this person is very controlled okay even if they have a temper they tend to just grip their teeth and walk away from a situation walk it off and then when they're already cooled down or when it's already you know 
they're already at peace that's the only time that they're going to be approaching you and talk about your problem but you are you know Taurians mostly they're very stubborn they don't know how to listen and it takes some time for them to really mellow down okay and you also need to use your intuition do not use logic in a relationship even if you feel like it calls for that okay now there's also one particular situation place or people that you need to go back to and give you give them your forgiveness you need to learn how to forgive okay for you it's like a uh, time will just tell you know if uh, that person will be forgiven or not i hope that they're gonna have their karma blah 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 see that's the thing that you need to learn how to let go waiting for someone else's karma it's like you're waiting for your own demise you need to let karma time and universe handle their own task and problem and go on and move on with your life get busy being happy and being whole again instead of waiting outside your door watching for that particular person that you hate so much to finally have their karma that is the anguish the pain and the agony or you know the baggages that i've been talking about that you need to let go of and that you need to learn how to forgive all right so that is your karmic lesson or that is the you know what you need to let go what you need to learn even if your sign defines you for whatever it is or whatever characters or whatever personality you have we still have our own free will we could still change we could still bend because we are humans and you know we can still do the things that is you know what is the, the right thing to do all right so anyway that's it for you for this time Taurus and if you want to have your own past life reading or if you want to have your own full length past life I mean all the stages that you have lived from the time from the uh, from the first time of your existence you may go and visit me at my website it's theangel.net you may talk to me live on the phone or offer a pre-recorded video reading or a live video reading all right blessings to you